Running for that cake now. Niggas reach, we call it bounce. We know they'll be broke a while. Said I got my gang now. She love me from the waist down. Pull up like a gray. How we slide on you like playgrounds. So I actually am trying to put the time and effort and I have primered this one, sanded it down a bit to the point where uh, I'm kind of happy with it. And now I'm going to go and try and hit it with my first coat. So I haven't been able to get my Atomic DRZ version 2 as fast as my BMR. So I thought I'll just make some wheel adapters and put the BMR wheels on here. But then I ran into the issue where I need a spacer that goes over it to keep the wheel on. I tried using this one, but when I put it on, as you can see, it's not big enough and it just slides right off. And these nuts, when I tried putting them on with this, this barely fits in here, so it's always like press fit and once I tighten it it's hard to get off so I'm trying to design these well I designed them and I'm trying to print them right now we'll see how it goes I'm hoping that if I incorporate the little spacer and the nut and make them a one piece I can make the little nut longer so that it doesn't have to go in here and then maybe even after, if it works, have a different design so it looks so it doesn't have to look like a nut and make my own tool to make it try and look scale. So here we kind of have our stuff set up. Got some of my mini cars. Usually we're here for 10th scale, but I'm gonna build a little small track right over here for our cars. And we'll be drifting our 24th scale right here. We got the guys setting up the track. So I am a builder for function. I do not do looks. I've been trying to do a fucking model kit. I've been trying to do my body lines. It went to shit. So then I had to paint it. And again, it's gone to shit. Uh, I'm gonna have to go back to fucking watching more model kit videos and figure out how they fucking mask their stuff because I wasted maybe four hours of time yesterday fixing this shit because now I have to redo everything. Fuck my life. Um, I got this body for free from a friend because it was broken. But I have slightly repaired it. It was actually cracked all the way through to here and up there as well uh, i've used a mixture of shugu and tamiya thin cement i used the cement so i could melt the plastic together and i used the shoe glue just so that it would be for sure held on and then I'm, I tried doing body lines on this one as well. And they came out a little better, but still shitty. So I'm back to sanding the fucked upness. Uh, hopefully I could get this looking good at, at the end. I'm gonna try. I don't want to ruin it. But I've now remembered I've had this masking tape for curves. It comes in a roll like this. It's three millimeters wide. I know that they have different sizes and it looks like it has more potential. I will have to crease the inside right here, but it looks better. Uh, it's easier to cut with an X-Acto. Um, I first tried doing this and they looked pretty clean. I do believe that the overlaps are the issue but curves like this are pretty sharp, so we will have to practice. Uh, I'll show how it comes out in a bit too. So I took a small trip to Michael's to buy more white paint. Um, I'm hoping they won't be too thick because usually when it's in a big can, it's pretty thick. Um, I'm used to using Tamiya spray paints, but I think it's gonna be a lot more cost effective if I learn how to use those. While I was there, I found 
this Tester's Extreme Lacquer, which is paint, primer, and sealer, all in one. So we're gonna try and use that one to fix this one, just cause, I don't know, I don't know, I no longer wanna make it white. But I did find out that when you paint body lines, you're supposed to paint the car the color you want, then you clear coat it, and after you clear coat it, then you do the body lines. Because if you fuck up on the body lines and you try using like paint thinner to remove it or something, you mess up the paint underneath. So right here, my body lines kind of, you know, leaked out a little and I used a Q-tip and paint thinner to try and clean it off. But we did it, the, my friend who gave me this body didn't clear coat it. So it started messing up the paint. If I would have had a layer of clear coat above the paint and then done the body line, there's a layer of like protection. So basically I could remove the clear coat a little before it'll actually remove the paint. And then you clear coat it once again after the body lines. So I've been doing it in the wrong steps, getting myself mad. And uh, I bought myself toothpicks so I can make it easier. And also got this 005 line marker line. Fine line marker. So hopefully they come out cleaner now. Okay, so I have managed to repair this slightly. It looks pretty good besides some fuck ups here, but I'm gonna end up doing the trim. So here's a look at this one. And then since I figured that one out, I decided that this one I'm gonna do a slight livery on. And we'll see how this goes. It's supposed to be white where I'm trying to do this top piece, but the pearl white will be a nice a nice little piece for it. You can see the pearl white when it like shifts in the light. Oh. You know, and at this point, you would already know the livery I'm going for. But here's how it's going so far. Let's hope nothing has leaked through. Uh, I need to do, I think, maybe one more layer of the green. Okay, so I have taken off the top coat of the tape. I still have the other line. In the process of taking off the other one, you can see that it started kind of like peeling it. So I'm going to leave this one on here for a bit and let it dry a little more. I still need to cover the other line for the black. So I'm going to do that and then cover this down and do the black. It's coming out pretty good so far though. I am now on my last color, which is black. And it's going pretty well so far. I'll show the final product after this. I was working on doing the body lines on here. And then I thought, you know, I'm also going to have to do the body lines on here. I don't want to go through all this again. So I have designed up and sketched out a few of these like cover plates, well, like sheets. So basically I'll use this to put it in front. So when I line up that, I don't have to cut out masking tape. I'll have a specific size for it. And then I wanted to add Tengu Drift Club here. But if I add a decal, when they get pretty small, like here, there's supposed to be a little dot for the eye. When they get really small, they come off really easy. So for the 24th scale, if I put it on there, it would just come off. So I'm gonna make a cutout, put this on there and then spray the black so it's spray painted on there. So this was my first attempt at making these and it came out pretty well. I think next time I am not going to cut out the wheels <clears throat> so that the wheel wall can be, you know, also covered unless I want to do like the fenders, but I'm doing this so I can do my trim body lines and not have to 
cut and tape super much. Or so much. On, but I think when I clear coat it, it should be fine. I tried removing some and it kind of messed it up, but the clear coat should cover that. Um, I'm going to add the water decals and I've never tried this till now. I did this one. I hope I didn't put too much water and get rid of the adhesive, but regardless, I, I still am going to clear coat over it, so it should be fine.